What's up, you guys? Check this out. This is what I didn't manage to find. I'm gonna show you guys real quick um, of my first uh, thrift store, which was my Saturday morning. Um, I did pick up uh, this guy right here, Dance Dance Revolution Supernova. And the thing is, you guys, this, uh, these type of games uh, I would never pick them up before. This is the type of game that I would just notice it and just keep going. And that's the only reason I kind of started. I'm going to start picking this up is because uh, one of my one of my kids, uh, which is my oldest, uh, he's gone into this this uh, this game series. And uh, in fact, he uh, like a month ago he he came up to me asked me, "Do you have do you have any of the dancements for the for the DDR?" He said, "Like I don't." And then I told him, "I don't have any of the PlayStation ones, but I do have." The one that came for the GameCube, which is the uh, the DDR Mario Mix, I think it was, and and um, and guys, guys didn't know that game is very limited, very brief in you know, as far as the uh, the song um, included in the disc to play the mat on the GameCube. So um, he did actually uh, went ahead and hit and uh, grab that and started using it, but he. I told her that I was told him that I was gonna start, um, you know, try to see, keep an eye out for these these type of games, because uh, he is recently very interested in these. But uh, that's the the long version of you guys. Where I'm starting to pick these up, or I'm going to start picking these up. Uh, which this one was for a dollar and eight, and I think it's missing the manual. Yeah, because yeah, I actually went through my collection. You guys don't have none of these uh, DDR games. And this is actually my first one, and I'll probably be picking them up and get to try to get a more variety of, the, of these type of games. And then I did pick up two copies of the Wii Fit. Um, and then also on that, and this location where I picked these guys up, I think I, I seen or I grabbed a, a demo disc for a original Xbox, but I don't know. I don't know what I did with it. I don't know. I might have put it back for some reason or the other. I might not have picked it up, but uh, um, and then um, at the same location, I ended up picking up this big guy right here. This big guy, and um, like I said, you guys, this is not something that I would have picked up before at all because, first of all, they do took up, take up a lot of space. And um, I just didn't care for it. And then just recently, like I said, my son has gone into this uh, this type of games. I think mainly because of him seeing the, the fancy ones at the arcade. They were like a few months ago. So now he wants to uh, give these uh, type of games a, a go with the mats. And then uh, this guy, um, this guy, the, the box is rough. I don't know that I really care, but it looks like a, a some, whoever owned it had the box bouncing around at their house or something. But then again, it looks like the mats were never used, you guys. Because they're they're placed in here and folded like I don't know. Maybe they never used them, maybe they used them a couple times, but they're all really nice and neat in there. Uh, so these are gonna go to my son. Uh, I see he's uh, this is actually something he's looking forward to. Okay you guys, so next uh, at the Goodwill, was it a Goodwill? Yeah it was a Goodwill. I picked these guys up. Um, actually, this is a CD, uh, but this CD uh, came out included in the uh, DJ Hero um, Renegade Edition, which was a big, big box, and this this uh, was included in it. So I just happened to be there, and I picked it up for a dollar ninety nine. And then. Um, uh, for the PSP, I think this was just behind the glass. Um, I picked this guy up for $5.99. It does have a manual. And then the best one from there was probably this guy right here. For the original Xbox Star Wars Knights uh, of the Old Republic. And I did pay the $5.99 for this guy. So I get, um, there were several other games on that, on that location, on that Goodwill. But uh, either they were at the $5.99 price which is I wasn't willing to pay for anything else for that price or they're missing the disc or they're um, they had the right, wrong disc in there or they were scratched to heck so like I said there were several games in there that I could have gone but it just for one reason or the other it was just wrong it just I didn't get it 
to grab any other ones. And then the last um, location at my thrift store, which was Monday night. Uh, and this is my Saturday morning, I, which is usually when I go because that's when my uh, the, the sale is, which is 25% off. But I also happen to go on a, on the Monday on Monday evening, uh, which is also uh, 25% off. I think it's from 3 p.m. to 8 p.m. or something like that on Monday nights. And like I said, on my Saturday morning, which is at the 9 9 a.m. to 12 noon. Both those locations and every week uh, there's a 25% off. So I did pick up this this big guy right here, this fatty. Um, and the thing is, um, well, let me explain that first. This is definitely a backwards compatible. I plugged it in and it runs like a charm, you guys. And I was really, um, really uh, skeptical about picking this up. So. This time around, you guys, I called the girl, had her pull it out of the behind the glass, I had her plug it in for me and wanted to see it. Even though she was very nice about it, you can tell that she just was annoyed of the whole process of me, you know, making her stand there while I making it power on and all that, but she was nice about it, um, you know, to my impression, but you can tell, like I said, you can tell that she was just like, okay, I have to do this, I don't really want to. But um, it does power on pro properly, and, and I came home, like I said, and, and, and it runs like a charm, you guys. And um, uh, it was $50, you guys. It was the same as the one that I picked up last time that didn't function. And the difference is that, um, like, well, obviously, like the other one, the big difference was that it, it didn't end up not working. But the other one had three dual shocks taped over it on it and uh, this one had nothing this is just the console itself with the cord and like I said they power on and I was just che checking to see if it would you know it would just die off as soon as you power out and, and it, it would power on so like, I'll take a chance for the $50 mine is the 25% off uh, and yeah I, I tested it and it runs like a charm um, so okay you guys that's enough rambling of, of me um, that's it. That's all I've picked up recently. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more videos.